Hello Underwater friends, you're tired of doing color correction on your videos because it takes forever? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it in a few clicks with Color Warper. Okay, so we have our project. Now we just go on the color page and today we're going to work on Color Warper. So to make it easier to see, here we have a button and we can expand it. So like this, we can see it better. First, I'm going to talk about all of those tools and here also. And after that, we're going to work on a few corrections to see how it works. So here you can see we have something that looks like a spider web. And if I take a point here and I move it, I'm changing the color here from the image. Control Z to come back. One of the things we can do also is to select the qualifier and then we're going to see with the cross here, the zone that is affected by the color I'm picking. Here we can have more lines. So now it's six. You can go up to eight and you can go all the way up to 24. So like this, it's more accurate. And also here you see that's how many points you have per line. So here you can have up to 16 and then the frame is cut into much smaller portions. So to understand this warper, here we can see on the sides all of the colors. So here's green, blue, red and magenta. If I go here, you can see that the cross is on the blue. And if I go here, it's more like on the pink or something like this. If I go on the fish, it's going to be like orange. So you see it's moving and it's giving me a clue on which dot can be moved to move this area. On the right side, you have the tools. So here the basic tool is select, deselect. So if I want to pick a point, I can just select one at a time and then I can move it. As you can see, it's moving, but this one is not affecting anything because my image here is represented with this white thing. So if I take a point that is in the zone, then I'm going to correct a part of it. And as you can see, I can correct it a lot. This one is draw selection. So I can click and hold and everything that I'm going to go over will be selected. Then I go back on my tool and when I move it, I move all of those at once. This one is to pin one of the dots. So if I don't want this and this to move, I can now select the one in the middle and it will affect until this point. This one is to pull the points. So for example, if I go, I click here with the pull, then you can see that the points are going to go towards this symbol. If I take this one, it's going to go away. So I click on this one and everything is going to go away from it. This one is plus. So I click one point here and then I do plus and the zone around it is going to be affected more and more. So it becomes bigger and bigger. If I go minus, then it's the other way. So I go plus and then I can go minus like this. This one is to invert the selection. So I have one point selected here. If I want to select everything but this one, I can click like this and then all of my image will be affected and then I can pin this one. And then if I select, I'm going to move the whole selection except this point. With this one, if I want to select a colon, then I press this one and the whole colon from the point will be selected. If I select a point and this one is going to select the circle all around it. So when I select this circle, that means everything that is the same saturation as this one will be selected. From the middle to the outside, it's more and more saturation. So the further out I go, the more saturation I have. This one is to select everything. Another way I can do the correction is by choosing the range. I can see pretty much where it is, so I can grab and hold this one. So this zone will be selected. You can see here, this is this area. And then I realize, oh, it's not blue enough, so I can grab it and move it towards the blue. And now it's correcting all of this area. I can pick it and then move it the way I want. As you can see, I can make very funny colors, even though that's not going to be the purpose today, but maybe there will be something to do with this tool. Another way to make the corrections is by just going on the image. I click and hold and then I can move the way I want. So as you can see, it's correcting the area that I selected. If I go on this fish, I can make it green if I want. I can make it red, blue or anything I want. Okay, that's about it for the basic corrections. So now let's reset the node and try to correct 
this image. So I'm going to select quite a few points to make it more accurate. And then I can go on it. Always remember to figure out what is wrong in your picture. So in that case, the water is a little bit gray, green. So I'm going to bring it to more blue and more saturation. So I can go here and I go right, even up a little bit. And you can see in one click, I get my water that is much nicer. And I didn't correct anything else. I can do a little bit more. And now we have a water that is much nicer. Let's go on the second scene. Valentin diving. So same thing. I'm going to put more points. You don't need to. But personally, I prefer to have more flexibility. So this one, we see that the image is all here. So it's a little bit green. And probably we want to move it towards the blue. So I can first grab, for example, the sand. I grab it and then I bring it to the right. Up a little bit. OK, the sand looks much nicer. Now we have a problem with the background that is not nice. Grab and hold. And then I bring it to the right to get it more blue. Actually, it's a little bit too much. Here we go, probably nice like this. So you see in two clicks, I get a much nicer color. Now I'm going to try to change the skin tone a little bit. So I hold it here and then I bring it up. And you can see I brought a lot of red in the body, which make it nicer. So this one again, the water is not blue enough. So I pick on the water and then I bring it to more blue and more saturation a little bit. Then with the travelies. A little bit more to the magenta. And two clicks again. And we have from this to this, which is definitely not bad. Final one. Our dolphins, the image is already pretty good. What can we change on this one? Maybe try to add a little red. So this time we can try to pick everything and just bring it all at once up a little bit to have a little bit more red that way. And as you can see, the red is coming up. A little bit less green, a little bit less blue and a little bit more red. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Makes me very happy. If you liked it, don't hesitate to put a like, subscribe, and you can also leave a comment to tell me what you would be interested in the next video. Bye bye, happy bubbles!